Hi, my name is Linda Latimer and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's tutorial will be about making a watercolor board. I use my watercolor board for stretching my watercolor paper. It's quick and easy, it's inexpensive to make, it's lightweight, and it's very portable. I use my watercolor board also for pouring my watercolors and I will be doing a full tutorial on the process of pouring watercolors. Tools that you'll need today for this project for a watercolor board is the foam core board. Um, I buy this at the local craft store, Hobby Lobby. Uh, Michaels has it. Um, full sheet is 20 by 30. If you want something larger than that, you should probably go to your art supply store. They would have it there. Um, it has the foam in the center and then the paper on either side. So you'll need this. You'll need an inexpensive mat board like what we use to frame our paintings once they're finished. You'll need a T-square that's not broke. I just broke this, so haven't had a chance to go to the store and buy a new one. A ruler, scissors, X-Acto knife, pen, duct tape. Duct tape is wonderful. I'll be using this to put on the edges of my watercolor board. A Krylon low odor spray glue. Um, I find this is very helpful to spray the foam core board and the mat board. Um, that adheres them together and it's, it dries very quickly so that I don't have to wait overnight for it to dry. And then the product that I use for the um, waterproofing is Liquitex Matte Medium. And um, I apply two thick coats of this on the mat board. You'll need a measuring tape and a square. And I use this uh, to make marks on my watercolor board so that I can line my paper up when I go to stretch it. Um, I use this board for my drawing. I use it for uh, painting on. I use it for my pouring of watercolors. So this board is extremely important to me and it's very lightweight. Um, I put tape on the edges to protect the edges. I can uh, staple my paper right into this and remove it once the painting is entirely done. I can use either side. Um, this is a water, pouring watercolor that I just finished. And this is another one that I've just finished over here as well. So those are the tools that you'll need for today. What I use to begin with is a half inch foam core board. I buy it at my local uh, craft store, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, uh, art supply stores will also carry it. Um, I get the half inch because I staple my paper to it. I don't want my staples to go all the way through. So today I'm going to concentrate on making a 16 by 20 board. Now on a 16 by 20 board I can um, have much smaller sizes. Typically I like to have around 2 inches around my side. So um, this is a board that I've made and um, I made it so that I can make very small paintings or I can do a nice 8 by 10. It's very lightweight. I've got two sides to it. So you um, can drop it, doesn't hurt anything, doesn't damage it. Because I have the foam board, and then I'm going to cut down the middle here. And I just use an X-Acto knife. Make sure I've got it all straight. I'm going to cut down close to the ruler. And I'm just going to score it to begin with so that I can go down as deep as I need. And that looks like I don't have my blade in there very good. So and I can score it as many times as I need to to get all the way down to the center and the other side of the board.
My husband taught me how to use an exacto knife many years ago so that I don't cut myself. So that's what I'm trying to do is not cut myself. I'm going to turn around and go to the other side now. And do the same thing. Whoops. Nobody will ever know I made a mistake on the cut because we're going to cover it with a cheap mat board. I'll glue the mat board down on this and then I'll waterproof that mat board. Let's see if I've got this scored all the way through. Looks like I do. I can turn it over on the other side. I've got my line there. Firm that up right there. This side will be much easier to cut because I only have to go through one, one thickness here. Turn around the other side so I can get that other corner. Drop my blade, that's not good. Line it up again. And I think we're good. All right, now we're going to cut the mat board. We'll cut two pieces the same size as the phone core, which was 16 by 20. I've got them both cut. I can set my ruler aside now. And so now I've got one for one side, one for the other side. It'll be, it'll be sandwiched in there like that. And um, it'll make it perfect. I really recommend using this low odor spray glue. And if you haven't got a windy day outside, then you can use this. So I'm going to run outside and spray these off or spray these uh, spray this on and I will be back in just a moment. All right, I've got these sprayed with the uh, low odor spray glue on uh, one side of the foam core one side of the mat board. I'll just take and turn them face to face with the glue facing each other, placing them down on the mat board. This is can be positioned as necessary, it says. So now I'll just press it down firmly all over. I made sure that I did around all of the edges so that the edges adhere really good. I couldn't do both sides of the foam core, well, for obvious reasons. So I've got a little edge over here and I can just cut that off. That isn't a problem. But uh, it, it fits pretty good around the edges and I'll end up putting tape around the edges anyway. Just uh, I want to protect the foam core in there and it helps strengthen the corners. So I'm ready to go spray this side now. So I'll run outside and spray that and I'll be right back. All right, I sprayed the other side of my mat board um, and the foam core and I put those together. And now I am taking Liquitex Matte Medium and I paid, oh, um, maybe 10 12 dollars for this um, I I pick up this kind of stuff at Hobby Lobby I find it's cheapest there and I always use my coupon on my phone so that I can get 40% off whatever I buy so I'm always in for uh, saving as much money as possible I've poured the matte medium on the board 
And now I'm going to just take my brush and spread it on. I will end up doing two coats of this. Um, I let them dry. Um, I just use a hair dryer to speed up the process. So it, uh, like I said earlier, I I like to save as much time as possible. I want to get things done as quickly as possible. But I make sure that I've got this spread out really good because what will happen is after this dries, then I'll put the tape around the edges. It will dry completely and it will be waterproof so that I can um, stretch my paper, my wet paper, onto this board and then I'll paint right on this board as well. When I'm doing um, the port process of watercolor, I use this board and it makes it very nice. Um, I can wipe it off if I get paint on it, although with the pouring process, uh, paint is a little bit different. Um, Putting it on uh, in so many layers, it penetrates a little bit more deeply, so it does discolor this a little bit, but it doesn't hurt it at all. So I'm just spreading this out. Then I'll take a hair dryer to it and dry that real quick. I won't do that in the video because that'll be very noisy. And I've watched videos before that where I had my, my uh, headphones on. It was a little bit too loud, so don't want to make you go deaf, so I won't do that. Okay, I've got it all spread on here nicely. I have this water here so that I can just uh, try and preserve the brush as much as possible. All right, I've dried the uh, matte medium on here so I can feel it. Uh, I just used the, the uh, hot setting on my hair dryer and just uh, simply went over it. it. took me maybe five minutes to do it. And so now I'm ready to pour some more on there. Nice thick coat of it. And get as much water out of the brush as possible. I use this brush for everything so I'll just spread this on here real good like I did before and then this side will be completely done and then I'll do the next side and I'll do that off camera so that uh, it saves a little bit of time. Make sure I've got all of my edges covered really good. You can also use matte medium on your watercolor paper and it gives it a, um, if you, if you um, use your brush strokes in different ways, it gives you a textured um, coating on your watercolor paper and you can also lift off your watercolors very easily using this. I've tried it a few times, it, it's fun, not my cup of tea, but it's okay. So as you can see, you just put it on. Doesn't doesn't take a, a mad scientist to do it because I can do it. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. Start to finish, this probably takes an hour to get it ready. But once you've got it done, it's done and you don't have to do it again. And it's ready to dry, so I'll go ahead and dry this, and I'll do the other side, and when I come back, we'll be ready to uh, put the tape on. I've got uh, both sides now covered with the um, matte medium. And they're both dry, a little tacky, but um, it will finish drying overnight. And um, I'll be ready to go. I've cleaned up my edges so that they're all pretty smooth. 
and have no no real gaps in them or anything. And now I put on tape around the edges. And as I said earlier, I, I do this so that I protect my corners, I protect the foam so that water shouldn't get down in there. Um, I do a lot of pouring watercolors and when you do that the watercolor goes over the edge and I don't want it to go in there so by taping those edges um, it just further protects it and uh, keeps it nice and clean. Um, I've used white tape, duct tape is best for it. Uh, you can use colored tape however when you're painting you don't want anything that's really going to um, uh, distract your eye. Um, colors like this definitely would add a, a whole different dimension to your painting. And um, gray duct tape, which is the original duct tape, uh, is fabulous. It's uh, neutral gray, not real shiny or anything. So I just um, start putting the tape around the edges and uh, I'll show you how I do that. Pretty simple if I can get a hold of the tape. I just do to each edge and I go down the middle so that it will wrap around to my other side. I cut it off even. Do that all the way around. Fortunately, if you don't get it even, you can move it to wherever you need it. around to the other side. So I've got it on either side. And I'll do another another strip along here too so it's a little bit wider. doesn't take very long. Once you've, once you've figured it out, it doesn't take long at all to do this. And I've got many different boards and I can have two paintings or four paintings going on at the same time and uh, makes it really nice so that if I've got one painting that I've got to wait on a little bit for it to dry or something particular happens on it that I need to wait a little bit, then I can and it makes it easy for me to already have uh, other boards ready and continue on. Now on this one, I come out beyond the edge just a little bit, just so that I can wrap those edges nicely. Do a little cut here on either side. If, you ever, if your tape ever lifts after you've done this, you can always just add more tape to it. And that's my corner. It's 
a little sticky, but that's okay. We can deal with it. I try to get the bubbles out of it so that it looks nice. Doesn't have a lot of creases in there. I like duct tape because it um, doesn't doesn't bubble. If you dry your watercolors with the hair dryer and you've got it on a high setting, it tends to bubble it up a little bit. And I haven't had that trouble with um, the duct tape. I had gotten some other white tape that was a 3, 3M, I believe it was. And it, I mean, it worked okay. It just bubbled up and I, I just didn't like that. So I went with uh, back to the good old duct tape. Again, just cutting a, a cut in here so that I'll be able to fold this over a little nicer. And of course, you can take a little bit more time doing this so that it looks a little bit nicer. I'm kind of hurrying around through this. And there's, there's the board. It's done. It's all done. I've got the tape on all the sides. I've got it all waterproof now. I'm ready to go ahead and uh, start stretching paper. So I'll include that in my next video, so stay tuned. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel, and please come back and visit me. And give me a thumbs up on this one. Thanks again, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.